on Clag Brzingi date 3971-A7, a creature known as Uncle Evil escaped his bonds of servitude and went forth to wreak moist chaos upon an unsuspecting and naively optimistic populace. Two men stood against this dark onslaught. Two men who shall forever be remembered as the only ones strong enough, the only ones brave enough to bring Uncle Evil and his minions to justice. This is their story. Not with the donkey. Not with the donkey. Not till we're married. God, I gotta take a pee. I wonder if the sensation of warm liquid running down Maggot's head would be sufficient to rouse him. I'm omniscient, remember? You're just talking in your sleep. So? So, unless I'm mistaken, you're about to have a dream about a horde of bloodthirsty mutant multi-level marketers forcing you at gunpoint to join their organization, and then slowly eating your flesh off to the sound of Kenny G music. All right, I'm up! God, don't do that! As if my subconscious doesn't already have enough weird ideas. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, maggot. Uncle Evil chewed through his chains. So? No reason, just saying. Go back to sleep, then. Nah, I think I'm gonna go hump a fire hydrant. Whatever. Meanwhile, in another much darker place. Ah, oh, my almost totally antisocial plans are finally coming to fruition. Soon the whole world shall... Hey, Uncle, how's it going? Hey, are you almost done with that fire hydrant? Curses! Damn you, Frugal! Damn you for always interfering with my plans at their very climax! I was kinda hoping you wouldn't have any plans for me that involved climaxes. In time, mark my words. In time, you'll all pay. Oh, shut up. You're whining like a freaking liberal. Just get on with what you were doing. I'll just go find my own fire hydrant. You'll see, Frugal. You'll all see. Bet you we won't. Shut up. And so, with the forces of evil vanquished, we cannot forget these two brave creatures and the sacrifices they made for us all. I, for one, would be glad to bear the seed of these two mighty selfless heroes so that they might propagate from my loins in a rather disgusting but satisfying fashion. Disgusting but satisfying? You mean like humping a fire hydrant? Shut up! That's enough of that drivel. Welcome, porn monkeys, to the Maggot Has Nothing Better To Do show. I'm glad to see you finally decided to come back, Frugal, now that the show is halfway over. Stupid firemen, thinking they're the only ones worthy enough to use those things. Frugal, you should consider yourself lucky. A sight as godless as you getting amorous with a public safety fixture would get you shot on my planet. Your people are just so damned uptight, Maggot. Why, just the other day, some Maggotonian shot at me just for defecating on his head. That was me. Oh, yeah! How long did it take you to wash that out? Let's just say I resorted to chemical incendiaries after about an hour. It didn't work. Whee! I feel so special now. Just think of it, Maggot. From now on, you get to carry a piece of me with you wherever you go. Realize I am considering carrying a much more substantial piece, such as your jaw. Sah, you don't scare me. Long ago, I believe it was that day that you had me strapped to a chair in a movie theater that was playing a Pokemon marathon, I realized I had endured every form of pain imaginable by living beings, and thus there was nothing left you could do to me. You have so plumbed the depths of your depraved creativity that not even the thought of being served as a suppository to Uncle Evil scares me now. I could give Kaz your address. All right, I'll be good! I swear to God, just don't... don't even care about that. I knew I could count on you. Well, ladies and gents, it's time to introduce a brand new feature to the Maggot Show. It's called Guess the Context. We play a short sound bite from something that has happened somewhere around Paingiver Studios, and you get to call in and guess what was occurring when it was said. Here's sound bite number one. Ah! Don't crunch! 
Now remember, you're not qualified to answer if you or anyone you know actually took part in the circumstances that led to the quote, you depraved perverts. Whomever makes the most accurate guess gains a 50-credit gift certificate to Maggot's Intergalactic Siege Force rental, doubled if the guess leads to an indictment. Now let's take some calls. Hello, you're on the Maggot Show. Hi, am I on the Maggot Show? Oh, for gas pork's sake. Next caller, you're on the Maggot Show. What's your guess? Does it involve frugal having sex? You're not allowed to ask questions, bitch. Next caller, what's your guess? I'm guessing it's when Frugal served as a suppository to Uncle Evil. As appealing as the idea sounds, no. Next caller, what's your guess? I'm guessing it's Frugal sodomizing his little brother, Nizel. No. Can this him? Next caller, last guess. What do you think was going on when Frugal screamed, Don't clench? I think he was writing a treatise on world peace. Where the hell do we get these people, maggot? I think if I knew, the answer would really bother me. Let's go get some waffles. Everybody tune in next week or we'll tell you what Uncle Evil really uses as suppositories. It's not an answer you would be comfortable with, believe me.